Welcome back, Bobcats. I'm Kyle Turner. And I'm Christian Johnson. And this week, we have a really packed show for you guys. Make sure to tune in so you don't miss out on anything happening on campus and in the community. Now let's go ahead and get started on this episode of The, the Sage. Sage. Good morning, Sage Creek Bobcats. Please, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. And ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please, have a seat. To kick off the show, we have a recap on the Every 15 Minutes event that happened on campus last week. Yeah, that assembly was pretty intense for some people. Every 15 Minutes is a two-day program that really challenges high school students to think about the decision to drive under the influence. Over 20 students took to the field last Tuesday and Wednesday, demonstrating what happens when good people make bad decisions. Additionally, the students were involved in the creation of a short film. The two-day demonstration portrayed what the impact on our campus would be if a drunk driving accident were to occur. Now let's hand it off to Maxwell Davis, Kylie Valenci, Brady Kasky, and Aiden Errol. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? There was a crash, um, I don't know what's going on. Okay, listen to me. Okay, listen to me. What is your name? Uh, Paige. Paige? Paige? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Okay. Five or six. Remember the crash. What'd you have? Five or six what? Cans and then... Cans of beer or...? Yeah, beer and then at the party. Um, is, is, is zero, so it's zero tolerance. You can't have any alcohol in your system. Any pain in your belly? Did you know that? I'm just gonna listen to you. Yeah, that sounds real yeah. Cool, okay? We talked to a first responder from Carlsbad Fire, as well as Paige Leffler, who wanted students to take home one message. I think people realize that it's reality and they can happen at any time. Um, unfortunately, I've been a part of them uh, throughout my career, so I think it definitely gets a, a powerful reaction and hopefully a take home point. They're like, oh, I'm fine. I'm good to drive. No, you're not. Just get an Uber. It's not that hard. It's saving lives. Like, you can't. That. You know, it's going to be hard to get into college, hard to get into anything now. You realize that? Do we get a Do we get a name or do you be on the fatality? Summer. Okay. I started to drive away, mom, but as I pulled onto the road, the other car didn't see me, mom, and hit me like a load. As I lie here on the pavement, mom, I hear the policeman say. The other guy is drunk, Mom, and now I'm the one who will pay. I have one last question, Mom, before I say goodbye. I didn't ever drink, Mom, so why am I the one to die? This is the end, Mom. I wish I could look you in the eye to say these final words, Mom. I love you and goodbye. Thanks again, guys. Once again, Bobcats, we really want to reiterate the message of staying safe and not driving under the influence. On a lighter note, spring break is coming up next week, Bobcats. I know I'll be headed to the beach a lot. That sounds like fun. Well, good luck finding parking with all the visitors and the construction going on. For those who haven't noticed, PCH has been packed with more construction than usual. To get an inside look on what's happening, we sent our staff members Sophia Mastaman and Camden Miller to get some more information. If you've driven past Tamarack Beach, you've probably noticed some construction. Dredging of the lagoon. So the lagoon is full of sand, and in order to ensure adequate water flow for the power plant, we have to dredge it out occasionally. The city of Carlsbad benefits because we put the sand on the beach for them. I think originally uh, they dredged in 1950, and so it's been going on since then. And we do it, uh, not regularly, but I'd say every two to three years. The dredging has been going on for four to five weeks, and that section of Tamarack Beach is expected to open on April 15th. Thanks ladies, I cannot wait for construction to be over. That makes two of us. However, spring sports seem to be kicking off their season really strong. Yeah, and I heard a few sports are actually ranked nationally and have some win streaks too. Let's hand it off to Madison Young for more information on this week's sports and few announcements. Hey Bobcats, we have two sports highlights of the week. First, Varsity Baseball has a record of 6-2 with a loss yesterday against University City. And second, the reigning state champs, our men's volleyball team, is currently ranked 10th in the nation with Varsity's next match tonight at 5 at Valley Center. 
Make sure you are keeping up to date with recent sports scores and games. For more information, you can head over to thesagenews.com and go look in the sports tab. When it comes to announcements, senior musicians, today is the last day to apply to have a chance to be showcased at the 2018 Genius Project Symposium. You can visit the Bobcat News tab on School Loop for more information on the forms you need. Our robotics team, 9261 Level Up, was given the opportunity to travel and compete in this year's Robotics World Championship in Houston, Texas. They are looking for sponsors and donations to support their team. If you or anyone you know would be interested, you can find the donations link and email on the Sage Creek High School homepage. Fellowship of Christian Athletes is holding its annual ping pong tournament from today through Friday, so go down to the wrestling room to check it out. They are still taking sign-ups, so if you want to participate, head down there at the beginning of lunch. The winning team earns a $50 Amazon gift card and the runners-up get a Chick-fil-A gift card. That's it for this week's sports and announcements. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Madison Young reporting for The Sage. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Madison. While it's important to support your Bobcat sports teams, it's important to support your artists here at Sage Creek as well. The annual festival of arts is coming up in two short weeks. Here's Morgan Mayorga and Aiden Errol for all you need to know. Uh, the Festival of the Arts is a celebration of the arts at Sage Creek High School. It's where our visual artists, our performing artists, and the community come together to celebrate all that we have to offer at school. And this opportunity is for everyone. Kids, students, parents, teachers. This year we felt that having an arts exhibition uh, for all the students at Sage Creek would be an excellent opportunity for creative expression at school. And we have a number of students who are incredible artists that can't fit the arts into their schedules. So by offering the call for entries, really an application process for the art show, any student who has done drawings or paintings or photography on their own and wants to share that with the community, this is their platform. For students who are interested in getting more information and, and would like some help in putting together their three submissions, um, they can come see me at a workshop this week, on Wednesday at lunch or Thursday at lunch, and also be in my classroom after school, um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday um, until three o'clock. Make sure to submit your call for entries. We have a lot of talented artists, so don't forget to come out and support. Well guys, that's all for this week's show. Thanks so much for tuning in. And don't forget to download the St. Drew's app and turn on post notifications to get all the updates as to what's going on. And make sure you head over to thesagenews.com for all news stories. See you guys after spring break. I'm Christian Johnson. And I'm Kyle Turner, reporting for The Sage.